Hi, welcome to Daddy Kerb's Garden. Today I want to show you an exciting new way that I have learned to start figs from cuttings. My neighbor has a fig tree that's kind of hidden in the bamboo on the fence line. He didn't mind me taking some branches off of it. It's not producing real well where it's at because of it being hidden in the bamboo. So I went over and I took a few branches off. I'm going to show you how I got these branches to this stage so that we can plant them. The cuttings for my fig trees will be placed in a gallon sized baggie. And yes, there are Christmas decorations because they're cheaper after Christmas. So I need all of my twigs to be shorter than this length right here. I'm going to cut one as a template so I'll know how long to make the rest. I'm cutting the tips off with most of the leaves and I'm making them approximately six, eight inches long. I need to keep track of what ends are the bottoms and what ends are the tops. So I'll be making some pretty radical cuts on the bottoms at an angle and I'll be leaving the tops cut flat. That way I'll know which is the bottom and which is the top. Some of these smaller twigs I'm just going to cut off and discard. I'll feed them to the goats. Even the thicker ones can be used. So I'm just going to cut a flat piece off the top and a nice angle at the bottom. Now that made an angle at what would be a top, so I just cut it off so I don't get confused. And now that I have a collection of twigs, all of them with angled bottoms and flat tops, I'm going to place them inside my Christmas baggie. Making sure that they stay facing the same direction, all the angles at the bottom, all the flats at the top. Now we can go ahead and zip it up for now. And we're going to pull it up and we're going to take a piece of twine and loosely tie around the middles. We're just going to tie a bow. Now we're going to stand it up. Now since the, the bottoms are down in there and it's bundled up with the twine, we're going to fill the bottom of it up. This is just plain water. About halfway up. Then we're going to zip it up. So it's just barely open at the top. We don't want it to be completely shut. Just barely open at the top. We do need it to ventilate, but we want it to stay very humid inside. Now the baggie can be placed in a container or stood up in a corner. The whole point is just to keep them upright, keep it contained. Now you could also do this in a like a, uh, a bottle that's been cut or some other type of uh, container that's going to keep all the moisture in, all the humidity in, with just a little bit of ventilation. The baggie worked out well for me, so that's what I'm showing you. These are going to be set in the indirect sunlight, a windowsill or somewhere on the porch that does not get hit by direct sunlight. They need light, but not directly exposed. I'm going to finish planting some of my original batch, but I think the root development could be a little better, so I'm not going to plant them all. I'm going to plant a few of them and put the rest of them back in the indirect sunlight in the baggie and see if the roots can develop a little further. I'm using the planting tubes or the, the tree tubes to continue the, the growth of my fig trees. After doing a few of these, I found that it's better to put some water in the bottom because they do have a hole and if your soil is too small, it just pours right out. So I put some water in the bottom of the cup, 
put the tube in the cup and pour some soil in there. By the time I get done planting this, that will have absorbed enough water that it'll stay in there. These fig starts have a few uh, roots growing out and also some leaf starts. So we're gonna put this down in there and we're gonna gently just pour the soil around it. We're gonna go right up to the bottom of that lowest leaf. I'm not going to bury the leaf. And then I'm put, putting it down into a bucket for the next steps. Now that this bucket is full of these tree tubes, I'm going to gently water from the top so that all the soil in the tubes gets nice and soaked. And it's gonna go down into the bottom of that bucket, but I have holes on the front of the bucket, so it's only ever gonna be a couple inches deep. All that moisture will soak up from the bottom into these tubes. I'm gonna just keep watering until I see the water come out of the holes, and then I can stop. So far, this method of starting cuttings has been better for me because the, the tubes always stay moist from the bottom. I have a collection of other trees and plants started in this, and now beside it, I can keep the figs. Every other day, I'll drain this water out of the bottom of the bucket and let the tubes draw down a little bit. That's gonna pull oxygen back into the soil, and then I'll put some more water in the bucket and let it pull back up. Back in our indirect sunlight in the back of the porch, actually in the bearded dragon cage, by the way. Say howdy to Jenga. Hey, Jenga. Jenga doesn't mind sharing his cage with figs. We're gonna put in the corner, this is the original bag where I planted half of them. And the new bag that we're just starting. And I'm just making sure that the top is cracked open. So we place those in such a way that they won't fall over. And we're ready to wait a few weeks. I hope you enjoyed that short bit about how I'm growing my figs now. This is not a tried and true method for me, but it has a lot of promise. My original method of propagating figs didn't work out so well. This method, I think will work out a lot better. I'd like to thank the three people who chose to support my channel by donating through the YouTube support button. That means a lot to me. I have no way through the YouTube system of knowing who you are, so I wanted to give you a special thanks in this video. If anyone finds value in my videos and would like to donate, you can find the blue button on my channel page or sometimes a link pops up in my videos. Also, you can go to my Patreon page and choose to support me with a small dollar amount every month. You don't have to donate. I love sharing my videos. For those who do, thank you for finding that extra value in my videos and the content that I provide to you. Thank you so much for joining me here in the Daddy Curbs Garden. I appreciate you sharing this time with me. I'll talk to you soon.